Step back into the glamour of 1936 with the classic Hollywood film Swing Time. Starring the legendary dancer and actor Fred Astaire, this movie takes you on a journey through the world of dance, love, and laughter. But hold on tight because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this film that will keep you hooked until the end. Have you ever wondered which classic Hollywood actor in Swing Time was your favorite? The stairs' charisma and grace on screen make it a tough choice. And speaking of choices, with a myriad of roles in this movie, which one stole your heart? As you reminisce about this timeless classic, we want to know what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We would love to hear them. So, grab your popcorn, sit back, and enjoy the journey through Swing Time. There's more to discover than meets the eye. Stay tuned for the funny, shocking, and sad facts, and let us know your favorites. In 2019, a viewer had the chance to explore the film Swing Time starring Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, made in 1936. Even though the viewer hadn't seen their work before, the movie made a strong impression. Directed by George Stevens, Swing Time tells a story of unexpected love between Lucky and Penny, a successful dance teacher in New York. The movie is well liked for its great production values, catchy songs and impressive dance routines, as well as the strong chemistry between Astaire and Rogers. The script, written by Howard Lindsay and Alan Scott, adds humor and depth to their performances. Memorable musical scenes include the Academy Award winning The Way You Look Tonight and the visually striking The Bojangles of Harlem. Astaire and Rogers demonstrate their lively chemistry throughout, bringing Lucky and Penny's evolving relationship to life. The story, focused on love, connects with audiences, making Swing Time one of their top films. The movie's storyline, sometimes criticized in other Astaire Rogers collaborations, is praised for being believable and having clever funny moments. Supporting actors Victor Moore and Helen Broderick bring humor to the story, even if they're a bit over the top at times. One standout scene is when Astaire learns to dance from Rogers and accidentally gets her fired, showcasing the film's charm. While Swing Time is a great introduction to Astaire and Rogers' talents, some modern viewers might find the blackface scene unsettling. Aside from this, the movie offers a delightful experience with its musical numbers and production quality. To sum up, Swing Time remains a classic that introduces viewers to the world of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, blending great dance performances with a compelling love story. It's a movie that stands the test of time. Ranked 30th on the American Film Institute's 2002 list of the top 100 America's greatest love story movies, Swing Time remains a significant film in history. One cool thing about the movie is a scene at the New Amsterdam, where they make a small car look like a toy model, which is pretty clever considering they did it in a studio. The faraway small car adds depth to the scene, making it look more real even though it's not. Director George Stevens wanted everything to be just right. So they did many takes, even for scenes where no one was dancing. This shows how much care they put into making the movie perfect. What's interesting is how they made the small car look like a real one in the distance. It shows how creative and smart the filmmakers were in solving problems to make the movie look amazing. At first you might think it's a toy car, but then you realize it's a full-sized one with actors inside, which blurs the line between what's real and what's not. The careful attention to detail and clever problem solving make Swing Time stand out as a classic movie. George Stevens' commitment to making everything perfect and using innovative techniques adds to why this 1936 love story is still remembered today. Considered one of the great movies by well-known film critic Roger Ebert, Swing Time marked the debut of Beatrice Grey. It's particularly special to Ginger Rogers, who liked it best among the films she made with Fred Astaire. In Swing Time, she gives a really good performance alongside him, showing their great connection on screen. The film's lasting appeal comes from its interesting story and memorable dance scenes, making it a classic of its time. In Swing Time, Eric Bloor played a significant role. He was part of five films recognized by the Library of Congress as culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. These include Gold Diggers of 1933, Top Hat, Swing Time, The Lady Eve, and Sullivan's Travels. The choreographer Hermes Pan and Fred Astaire developed the idea for the shadow dance in Bojangles of Harlem during rehearsals. They noticed three shadows cast by Astaire due to different light sources. Lucky's quest for $25,000 in the movie equates to over $530,000 in today's currency. These details offer insights into the creative process and financial context of swing time. 
Listed among the American Film Institute's 24 selection of 400 movies nominated for the top 100 America's Greatest Music in the Movies for the song A Fine Romance, Swing Time stars Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, who acted together in a total of 10 films. Their partnership began with flying down to Rio in 1933 and continued with famous titles such as Top Hat and Follow the Fleet. In Swing Time, Astaire plays a dancer turned gambler, while the protagonist's first names combined make Lucky Penny. Their chemistry and talented performances delighted audiences, establishing them as one of Hollywood's most beloved pairs. In a noteworthy dance sequence titled Bojangles of Harlem, Fred Astaire pays homage to John Bubbles rather than Bill Bojangles Robinson, despite the title's tribute. Astaire channels Bubbles' rhythmic tap style, mimicking his portrayal of sportin' life in Porgy and Bess. This choice resonated with audiences of the 30s familiar with Bubbles' distinctive style, adding depth to Astaire's performance. Astaire's connection with Ginger Rogers predates their Hollywood collaboration. In his autobiography, Steps in Time, Astaire recounts meeting Rogers in New York during their days as stage performers. The duo frequented a New York nightclub where they shared a dance. Their acquaintance extended to Rogers' mother, Layla Rogers, leading to discussions about the theater business. During rehearsals for the Bojangles of Harlem sequence, Hermes Pan observed a unique phenomenon. Three light sources cast a stair shadows, perfectly synchronized and dancing. This observation inspired special effects shots in the dance itself. A stair silhouette, tripled in post-production, danced against the process screen. Despite some imperfections like bleeding of the image, the innovative technique added a visually captivating layer to the sequence. Astaire's deliberate choice to honor John Bubbles and the innovative shadow dance technique in Bojangles of Harlem showcase the depth and thoughtfulness behind the making of Swing Time. Swing Time received positive reviews with a strong 97% rating on Rotten Tomatoes from 29 reviews. Fred Astaire, a star in the film, is recognized as the 73rd greatest movie star in Empire Magazine's Top 100 Movie Stars of All Time list. The song The Way You Look Tonight from the movie is ranked 43rd in the American Film Institute's list of the top 100 America's greatest music in the movies. The stairs performance and impressive dancing skills contributed to the film's lasting popularity in the world of cinema. In the movie Swing Time from 1936, we learn a lot about how it was made. Fred Astaire did more than just act in it. He also helped write some of the popular songs like I'm Building Up to an Awful Let Down and Blue Without You. There was a big plan for a song called Bojangles of Harlem inspired by Bill Robinson style, but they had to change it because they didn't have enough money. Ginger Rogers worked really hard on her dancing, so much so that her feet got hurt and bled during rehearsals. This shows how tough making the movie was.